Hello, 6th graders. Welcome to Big Ideas Math, Contract Math, Section 6.1, 2014 edition, Percents and Decimals Activity. Pause while you write Section 6.1, 2014 Activity in your math notebook. Pause again while you write today's activity objective in your math notebook. Today's objective is use a visual model to represent percents then write the percents as decimals. Today we'll be starting on page 113 in your 2014 Record and Practice Journal. Our activity is writing percents as decimals. Your directions are to write the percent shown by the model and write the percent as a decimal. So on letter A, we see that 30% of the squares are colored in, are shaded. So as a fraction, that looks like 30 over 100. So that's 30 per cent. And when we simplify that, that becomes 3 tenths. And if we write that fraction as a decimal, we should know that that's 0 0.3. And letter B, all of the squares are shaded in, so that's 100%. And that equals 1. So the whole thing is shaded in. Letter C, if we count the squares, we find that three whole rows are shaded in plus three small squares, so that's 33%. So again, we put that 33 over 100, and there's no simplifying of the fraction to be done, but when we make that into a decimal, it's zero, Point three, three, And then letter D, if we count them all up, there's three complete rows, so that's 30% plus seven other squares, so that's 37%, and that equals 37 over 100, so that's 0 0.37. And then if we count letter E, that's 64% of the square that's shaded. So 64%. So that's, as a fraction, 64 over 100. And we can write that as a decimal, 0 0.64. Your assignment for today's lesson is to complete letters F and G of Activity 1 on page 114 of your Record and Practice Journal. Also, complete the What You Learned Before questions on page 213 of your 2014 textbook. Show your work and be prepared to share during our next class. Remember, to earn credit for viewing this flipped lesson, you need to complete your exit slip, come to our next class prepared with the journal pages or other work from the flipped lesson completed, be prepared with any work that was assigned in the flipped lesson completed, and be prepared with any questions you have for your teacher, and of course, have a good attitude.